Now, it's been a lively past few weeks in the politics of Emo State, with the PDP torn asunder by internal squabbles and mass resignations, and the Labour Party declaring war on the Electoral Commission, INEC, the PDP and the APC for alleged electoral infringements and judicial manipulation. Especially for the PDP, the party has not had an easy few months, both nationally and at the Emo state level, and its problems have particularly centred around allegations made against it by a former PDP governor of Emo state, Emeka Hedioha, the governorship candidate of the Labour Party in the 2023 election, Senator Ethan Achonu, and by a former Minister of State for Abuja under the PDP, Barrister Chuka Odom. For quite some time, the warning shots were very clear. Just before the elections, yeah, there were issues, but it made sense for us to get into the election convinced to regain power at the federal level and number of states. But of course, a number of things happened. But after the elections, um, then the, the issues came to the fore. And quite a number of us called for needs for discussions and resolutions of issues that had arisen. Now, rather than addressing those issues and responding to the barrage of demands, what mm. you kept seeing was a further drift to the desires of the people, which, like I stated, were very much uh, inconsistent with the vision and mission of the founding fathers of our party. This is something that somebody forged. Accreditation on 520,000, his own vote alone, 540,000, Charles. What they did, they cleverly put me a distant third so that in case there is a rerun, they will now trash because they can, they can eat PDP as crackers. So they will not <laughs> trash PDP. That's what they planned. <laughs> but they didn't, and they didn't know that they would not, would not allow them to infiltrate the beaver's machine. That's where they got it wrong. The PDP as a political party is no more in a position to offer credible opposition. And credible opposition is important in any democracy. If you have a government, then you must have an opposition. That is how democracies grow. Mm. And when PDP has become an appendage of the ruling party, and when it has maintained an incestuous relationship with, with the ruling party, then it's time for those who don't feel like they want to be in opposition to quit. Well, to borrow a term from South Africa's Julius Malema and put it in the Nigerian context, this PDP animal is being eaten piece by piece. And to help us chew over all this, I'm joined now in the studio by the lawyer and state organizing secretary of the PDP in Imo State, Gozier Mwachuku. Thank you very much indeed Thank for you, joining Charles. us. Thank you, Charles. So allegations that all the jockeying for positions and accusations that corruption has rotted the core of the PDP, accusations of connivance between the leadership of the PDP with the APC to protect the ruling party's sphere of power, I mean, it sounds like the circle of political pain in the PDP is widening both at the state and at the national level. Walk us through the last few months in the world of the PDP in Imo State. Charles, what has happened in the PDP in Imo State is that um, somebody that by providence came to prominence from almost nowhere has decided to go on a tirade to demonize a political party that has made him what he is. Charles, ordinarily, I would have wanted to discuss more pressing national issues and issues that really matter to our people and our party. And discussing these people is really not that very important because what is happening is that these guys are just seeking for notice. These guys are saying this party is dead. These guys are saying this party is gone. And every day they run to your studio to still discuss the divorced wife who should have been discarded. No, no, they're, they're not running to our studio every day. I mean, Emeka Hedioha, we went after him and convinced him to 
following his resignation to come and tell Nigerians why he left the party. So he hasn't been running after us. Did we, he also go after Chukodom? No, no, he came? We, no, no, we, we, we went after, after we, Chukodom. We, we appealed to him to come on air. That's I mean, okay. we, we tried to balance the news. That's why we've got you here. That's okay. That's okay. So that you can give your own side That's of the That's okay. Story. Anyway, I would like to summarize that issue very quickly so that we can get on to more serious issues. Number one, I'm making head your comes from a place called, called Umbutu in a Bombay local government. Sunday, seven days ago, seven days Sunday ago, a PDP meeting was held in his local government in the house and the residence of the foremost senior advocate of Nigeria of Mbise descent and from Imo State, Chief Mike Ahambasan. I know you know him. He is actually the leader of the party in Emeka's local government. In that party, Emeka says he's dead, everybody is out. The local government chairman of the party, Maxwell Nabihe, is still in the party from his community in Botu, didn't live with him. Yeah, but they're, they're saying that there was a mass resignation of members of the yes, PDP. I'm trying to, and, we, and we saw a lot of them on no, television. I'm, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. I'm trying to dissect those things are Photoshop, those things are just optics to try to create some panic or try to give a warped narrative right. that thing is misleading i'm trying to give you a picture of what his local government looks like forget about the state let's start with his community i said the lga chairman of the party from his local government didn't go with him the leader of the party from his look from in his local government mike ahamba s-a-n he didn't go with him Foremost leaders of the party from that local government are still members of the party till tomorrow. Right. But let so me, what is it? What are, we, what are we talking about? Okay. Let, let me let me let me ask you this, because with the particular internal issue that was being raised by both Emeka Hedioha and Chuko, um, who you have to admit are very prominent people. I mean, Emeka was a former governor. Chuko Dum was a former minister of state under the PDP. They talk about a lack of democracy and a lack of proper opposition. And it's not as if that came from nowhere, did it? It seems to fit into the bigger strategic picture of what so many of your members are complaining about, which is that those two areas are being hopelessly handled by the party. Charles. Emeki Hedio had came to political prominence. Since this thing is about his allegations, let me now make it about him. I wanted to make it more issue-based, but let me make it about him. Emeka came to prom political prominence in 2003 when he ran for the House of Reps. When he ran for that House of Reps, a man called Godfrey Dikocha defeated him in that primaries. But he was given the ticket. The lights... The lights, put out. look, everything I'm going to say here, I take personal responsibility. As an advocate <laughs> and a, 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 a lawyer in the temple of the Supreme, Supreme Court of Nigeria, as one of our most revered jurists, Anthony, Christopher, Nemezie, and your Yogolo would call it, I want to own up this, whatever I say here, I take personal responsibility. I said, in 2003, Emeka ran for House of Reps, lost the primaries, but he got the ticket. Then he didn't know it was, internal democracy was needed. In 2007, the primaries had to be done three times in Ingobala, in Omogoma, one primaries, and at Tetlo Road, Township Stadium, just to make sure the ticket was given back to him. At that time, there were complaints, so, he didn't know. In fact, the litigation got up to the Supreme Court. His litigation got up to the Supreme Court. In 2011, a man called Sorona de Jokufon, Attorney General of Imo State, defeated him in the elections. The results were allegedly manipulated. What happened? The man went to the, court, went to the, went to the tribunal. Emeka settled with him out of court. At that time, Emeka didn't also know that internal democracy and also the Democracy itself needed to be protected at that point. Let me tell you, Charles, what is happening. What is happening is that people have gotten tired of 
having the same people lot things over them over time and decided that we're going to do away with this guy and his band. So what you see in Imo State is that a man and his group left the party. And they are now saying 85% left. Chukodom is from a community called Oku Ugiri Eziyama. That is his word. I'm the state organizing secretary of the party. We are doing a validation exercise right now. I was given 100,000 party cards. Charles, mark my words. I was given 100,000 party cards for a start for registrations in Imo State. In two weeks, it ran out. I have 37,617 names outstanding who need cards now. In Eziyama community, where Chukodom comes from, we have, as of today, 3,700 registrations. What is Chuk talking about? What are they talking about? I'm giving you facts. This is not fiction. What I'm trying to say is that if these guys think they are, too, they are, they are so strong, <laughs> they are so needed, let them go and try themselves somewhere else. We are waiting for them. We just want to wait for them. These guys have always hidden under the leadership of the PDP to perpetrate a lot of things. What do they do? They cheat out people in primaries. They cheat out people in general elections. Emeka has never put me. I want you to put me. 2003, 2007, 2011, House of Reps, governorship primaries, 2015, 2019, he didn't win one on the ballot. All we are given to him by his advantage of having been a deputy speaker, a former chief whip, then he knows those in, in, in Wadata well, Plaza. I, I'm not agreeing with what you're saying. But, you, but based just on, don't no, need no, to. Hold on, hold on, let me just make this point. Based on what you're saying, yes. if those things were allowed to happen yes. within the PDP, yes. then it confirms the point that he's made. No, we have weeded that, out those that people. That there who is corruption in the party. We have, and yes, that there, there was. That there isn't internal democracy. I like your word. There was corruption. The word was is the operative word. Was well, corruption. you said was. I said is. There was corruption. Right. There was corruption. The people who perpetrated that corruption with him have been weeded out of the party. Yeah, but you do realize that the public are finding all of this intensely tedious, and you are likely to hemorrhage support as a result of all this going forward. Let me tell you, Charles, we are not hemorrhaging support. Rather, if I tell you the number of persons who are returning to the party. Well, that's what you say. No, I, have, Charles, I don't have any evidence. Charles, I'm not doubting you, Charles, but I, I'm do just what saying I will do. that Charles, you're, you're alleging no, that Charles, that is what Charles, is happening. Charles, I will please do a follow-up program. Right. I will come here with live registers, with all the data. If you want me to send it to you, soft copy, I'll do that. Right. Charles, let me tell you something. There's something that has happened in Nigeria, and I want to state it very clearly. Charles, you come from a breed and a pedigree that doesn't support mediocrity. Do you know what has happened ni with Nigeria? I, watched the last, I saw the last interview. I saw the kind of comments coming out. We're discussing very serious issues. Look at people's lives. Purchasing power have been almost eroded. As people are talking about their wages, and you're talking about not being the fault of this person. Or you're like, What's that? Well, we have to give you a right yeah. to, to come and you defend know? your party. I no, mean. no. The point is that, Chooks, my, Chooks, my, uh, Charles, my brother, what we're discussing is that Nigeria has suffered we, we, because of the rise of the mediocres. This country is I, suffering. I, I rather, I will, I'm inclined to agree with you. This there. country is suffering because, Charles, can you have a Manchester United that wants to play in the Champions League final and it goes to its youth team, the under-15s, and wants them to play against Real Madrid? In the Champions League. What has happened to Nigeria is that our best have been put at the back. The people you see masquerading. I definitely this, agree with you. Former that. that. Former this. Former that. When you remove those togas of those appointments and positions, these guys don't have much to offer. I agree with you, but I also take into account the allegations made against you. Some people are saying that this is, I mean, an extraordinary sense of denial in the face of overwhelming evidence to the contrary of what is going on at the PDP, both at the national and local level. And that somebody said that perhaps it's time, I mean, it's a bit of a joke, but somebody said perhaps it's time for a book called What Everyone Knows About the PDP Except the PDP. Well, it would be good to also have that book. Mm. But there's also another book that may be written. What those who killed the PDP have failed to tell Nigerians. 
what those who want the PDP dead have failed to tell Nigerians. Charles, let me tell you. Very, the, very the, briefly, the, 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 the party we're is, out of time. The party is not that, it's not as if things are all rosy. Right. The party is, you go through your trying times, you see those, but I want to tell you, Charles, take this from me. The PDP Imo State, I'm fighting for the PDP, I'm talking about in Imo State. Charles, we are receiving persons who we are driven out of the party because of the high-handedness of these persons who have left the party. Right. Okay. What the party has been returned to the people. Okay. On that note, I want to thank you very much indeed. Gozier Mwachuku is a lawyer and the organizing secretary of the PDP in Imo State. Thank you very much indeed. I wish we had more time, but unfortunately we're out of time. Thank you thank for you. coming in. Thank you. That's it for this edition of Arise Prime Time. Join us again tomorrow from me and the entire team here in Abuja. Bye-bye and thank you for watching.